Hi there, hope you're all doing well. I am back with another 3D printed mini. Because of the insanely good success of the Toad Pirate, I am doing the Orc Defender from the same set by Highcraft Miniatures. The Humble Bundle also got extended, so you can still grab that set if you want to grab these minis. He has been primed in Vallejo's Desert Sands, and I start off with Leather Brown for his skin. Normally I would paint Orc skin with green skin, but I fancy something a little different, so I went with the more tanned colour that I would normally see in WoW. If you have any questions or mini requests, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can check out um, high res images of this guy and some of my other minis on Facebook or Instagram. If you fancy just hanging out and having a chat, I stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays at around 8pm UK time. The next colour is charred brown for all of the leather parts. then add some colour to the skirt with army green. This can of course be any colour you liked but I feel the green goes quite well with the rest of the colours that I'm using. add some detail to the belts by doing the edging with dungeon grey. This is mostly just to add some variation to the leather parts so it doesn't look like just pure brown. Next up I do the three tree trunks he has for a shield with dirt splatter. It doesn't come out too well in the video but there is a subtle wood grain on this sculpt so I'm trying to keep the paint thin enough that I don't fill that in.
then start on the metallics with plate mail metal. This is a pretty long step since there are quite a lot of metallic areas on this guy as he is built to take a hit. In between the metallics I used werewolf fur to do his leggings. These are barely visible on the mini but still visible enough that they're actually going to need some coverage and I would probably go back if I was doing it again and do this earlier before I do like probably before the boots so that I don't get any on the boots. Now onto the second metallic with hammered copper. This is for these skulls and some of the detailing of the other metal parts.
With the metallics now finished, I went on to highlighting the skin with desert yellow. This is for all of the raised areas, leaving that leather brown in the recesses. Next I grabbed bone white to do the teeth and the eyes. To finish up before the washes go on I used a matte black to do his base and his eyes. The first of the washes is light tone, something I've not used before so I thought I'd give it a bit of a try. This is for all of the skin, or well, originally for all of the skin, I then decide I want to do the rest of the mini other than the metallics with this colour as well. Now I finish up the washes with dark tone for everything left on the mini, which is basically the metallics. And that will be it for the Orc Defender, another chunky mini for almost perfect to paint. The only thing I would change though is with the printing part, it would be great to be able to print the shield as a separate piece as it covers a lot of the mini and makes it awkward to paint around that. But other than that, that's perfect for me and I'm definitely going to be printing more of these minis in the future. If you want to see high-res images of this guy, check out my Facebook and Instagram pages. If you have any questions or mini requests, feel free to drop them in the comments below I try to answer as quickly as possible, but if you want an instant answer, you can always ask me on Twitch as well, where I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays at around 8pm UK time. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and most importantly, don't forget to be kind to each other.